what I'm doing is I'm grinding fresh espresso grass. This is our proprietary espresso blend that I roasted myself just just this week, just on Monday. Don Love Charles is whipping us up one of her specialties. The salted caramel espresso is something she created after being inspired on a trip to Seattle. We happened upon this chocolate shop where we tasted a salted caramel chocolate. And I thought, you know, over the last two years, tasting our espresso graph, it really has a lot of, uh, of its own cocoa notes. So I thought that it would pair really nicely with chocolate. She will be entering her creation in the Prairie Regional Barista Competition in Calgary. So I'm going to line the cup with caramel. And then I'm going to grind some vanilla infused salt. Charles owns two bean scenes in Kelowna, including this one by the Landmark Buildings, but is relatively new to the coffee business and these types of contests for that matter. Some of the competitors she will face will indeed be much more experienced. I'm expecting to be terrified by, you know, this, this intimidating world of coffee geeks. People who compete in these competitions are really intense about coffee. They travel to origin, they develop relationships with farmers, many of them roast the beans themselves, and they really have a very deep understanding of coffee. I'm ready to go over to the espresso machine and pull a beautiful shot of espresso into my salted caramel espresso cup. During the competition, she will be expected to make four espressos, four cappuccinos, and four of her signature drinks, one for each judge and they won't be grading her on just the appearance and taste of the drink. They're looking for things like organization and cleanliness. They're looking for efficiency. They're looking for the barista not to be, you know, wasting product, right? And then they're also looking for somebody who's going to represent the coffee industry proudly. So they're looking for somebody with passion and somebody with, you know, a degree of showmanship as well. And as the espresso pulls into the cup, it's going to begin to melt some of the caramel on the inside of the cup. And we use manual machines at the bean scene. So I have controlled the grind, I've controlled how much espresso I've put in the portafilter, and I'm controlling how much water I'm going to run through the espresso. The espresso, the liquid part is on the bottom, and this beautiful, thick uh, kind of part on the top is called the crema. And that's where all the oils have come together and created this beautiful texture which gives body to the espresso shot. The salted caramel espresso is almost ready. It just needs a final touch. And I've made some chocolate curls, which I'm just going to put inside the drink. And the heat of the espresso is slowly melting the chocolate. At this point, what are the judges sort of looking for? What I want them to do is I want them to give it a quick stir to amalgamate the melted chocolate with the espresso. And their very first sip should be discovering the lovely cocoa notes that are inherent to our espresso graph. Then they're going to have a bit of a citrusy finish at the end. And then layer after layer of flavor should be become prevalent. So their next sip should be more sweetness from the caramel, a little bit of salt on their lips from having sipped, you know, the rimmed, the salted rim. Now you seem to have a lot of energy. Is that a bubbly personality or a lot of coffee? Yes, it might be a combination of the two. And I actually have a performing background. I'm from Ontario and I was a musical theater performer. So I have it in me. It's in my soul. The coffee definitely helps, right? So you could sing during the competition. I sure could if I wanted to. I'm going to just keep it about coffee though. I'm going to try to keep it professional. <laughs>